Okay. <laughs> How am I gonna say this, man? Uh, bro. <laughs> this has to be the hardest moment in my life. The craziest confession. The craziest confession. Carol is my name. Geology is my game. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. <laughs> I am 23, and my ass is sitting here playing Brawl Stars. Where did I go wrong, man? Where did I go wrong? I've been playing Brawl Stars for a hot, like, two months now. And I used to play back when it first came out, but I don't know why I reinstalled, but this game has been absolutely addicting to me, bro. I'd be hopping on, and i just queue up ranked like crazy. I don't even, I barely even play the other modes. I don't even touch the other modes. I just queue up ranked for, like, a good two hours, just grinding, bro. For the people who don't play Brawl Stars, I mean, it's the typical things. You have your rankings, bronze, silver, gold. I usually sit around the mythic range so i'm not too crazy in the game but you know i'm not like absolutely ass normally i pick one character and i just queue the character until that rank season ends i've played three rank seasons so far first was jackie this character is absolutely toxic so jackie basically goes around and just pummels characters bro second i went gene and gene has to be i don't want to say he's bad right but gene isn't that great he has good utility he basically shoots a shot and it multiplies into multiple little ones now you think that may be good but the small shots are usually like 333 damage when you walk up close and hit him with that first big projectile it does 2k his ultimate is crazy too, right? Cause you can just grab people like this through walls and just shoot them. So if I grab this guy all the way to the right, I could just shoot him while he's grabbed and suppressed and it's just crazy. He's not that great because he gets blown up very fast. But now I'm playing Sprout. Task completed. And this guy has to be the worst possible character to play in this game. He's just so bad, right? I'm gonna hop in some games with him so you guys can see, but the hell is this so this guy's like a throwable character right so what he does is he throws things over walls and he has pretty good range not that crazy but he has pretty good range the thing is there's just so many better throwable characters than him it just makes him obsolete i don't even know why i picked this guy he doesn't do that much damage right his ultimate he just throws down a wall and he can just hide behind it but this doesn't help you're gonna see you're gonna see real soon this does not help normally i have an easy time climbing the ranks not with sprout though not with sprout because he can't defend himself if anybody walks up around this range right here it's basically over. You can't do anything. When you shoot close to you, it misses half the time. You're gonna understand where I'm coming from when I play the game. But anyway, I've been playing a lot of Brawl Stars. I've been having a lot of fun. And I feel like it's stupid of me to not show my enjoyment with the game with you guys. And I feel like I should play a couple rounds and let you guys just see my experience in the game. Disclaimer, this is about to be the worst gameplay you've seen in a minute. Okay, I just want to play the game and I need something to record. It's pretty hard being a variety YouTuber when you don't have something to fall back on. So who knows, maybe this could be a series. Let me know what you guys think. We're going to be queuing up rank. Enjoy. Now there's about three people that I ban. It's usually Frank, Edgar, and Leon. Those three are probably my biggest threats in the entire matchup of the game here. Only because a lot of them can just break down my walls or just sneak up on me or just jump over the wall, period. Any character that can do that, I'm basically done for. Now we're playing heist, so I usually like to run, if there's bushes, I usually like to run bush perks. But since there's no bushes, we're gonna run everything else. And I think this is okay. The good thing is since we're funneling here, it's so easy to hit everybody. You gotta like time your shots so you can like absolutely just clobber them. You wanna kinda move to a, uh, a side range so you're a problem, right? Which is an absolute threat. You really wanna read their movement to get the best momentum with this character. But as soon as you start missing their, your shots, your aura is just completely gone. That's the first game done though, that's the first game done. This matchup is pretty easy because I could bully him a little bit. Here we go. You, know, you definitely want to wait for him. Oh my God, I got absolutely gunned down. We don't let that slide, my boy. There we go. Wait, what? 
All right, he handled that good work. I have to juke a little bit. Here we go. I have to block a whole couple of shots because holy crap, I don't have any health. So even if I do try to block shots, it, it's not the, the greatest. So remember when this game had like loot boxes? It was like this mega box or the regular box. They used to actually have like great ass rewards. Normally these little drops are like one item, but those boxes used to have like four in each in each box. I don't really know if this game is popular or not anymore. I mean, I never really have any problems going into a queue because I mean, everybody has a cell phone, right? Who doesn't have a cell phone? I bet like most of these mobile games, they probably have like the biggest communities low key. We're gonna ban Leon here. I'm surprised that I don't hear about these mobile games a lot more because I mean, they're accessible to almost everybody on the planet, right? If you have a smartphone, you can play these games. It's not like a PC or a console where it's like a $500 buy-in just to play freaking Balloons Tower Defense. We got another Marksman lineup. When I don't have to go against mobile characters it's pretty easy to handle when i start fighting against like melee characters it's so hard to get together they jump on me almost every single time like before they even walked up they just died i can't hit him i can't hit him I got your back, bro. I could probably walk in on this. Here we go. Wait, this guy's this guy's healing me while I'm fighting. What the hell is that? I've never seen that character. I can't lie, the skins on this game is kind of fire too. I don't know who's working on the uh, cosmetics for this game, but they absolutely snap every single time. Did he just shoot me through the wall? Damn, I couldn't get him. I don't know who to go for. Like, everybody's so far away. Here, we can move up right here. Oh, we just lost our lead. I mean, what, what do they want me to do? I can't hit everybody, guys. Come on, we gotta like, we gotta trap them or do something. This guy on the left is like super toxic, bro. Even the cat knows, bro, even the cat knows. Guys, I mean, we have them weak. There we go. That's how we need to play, bro. Sneak up on them. I don't know if I can kill him. Damn it. How is this guy here? We're still in the lead though. Got him? Just don't die. That's it. Just don't die. Good work. Good work. Holy crap. We're actually getting good matches. We're actually getting good matches right now. I was on an eight losing streak. I don't know where these teammates are coming from right now. I'm just gonna keep playing until we hit diamond three. Yeah, I don't know. These drops, they just suck. How I usually play the game with Sprout is when there's lots of bushes, I try to run as much bush perks as possible. Usually what I run when there's a lot of bushes as well is the vision perk and the speed perk, right? So I can move fast in bushes 
And if I hit somebody, they're visible for about like two seconds. The next one I go is the photosynthesis star power. Basically what it does, it just makes me take less damage. So I have a, a way to get out and I'm not just getting bodied the entire time. When there's no bushes, I like to run the overgrowth perk because every five seconds, your throwable bomb, it gets a bigger radius when it blows up and it, it helps like poke them down a little bit. When I play the soccer mode, I think it's called Brawl Ball. I usually like to run the transplant because you drop down a wall, right? And with the transplant, you can break down the wall, get your super back immediately, and then throw another wall. It's definitely dependent on who I'm versing uh, on the opponent side and what map we're on. In something like this mode, I would definitely ban like Frank or BB or something. The challenge is, is that I can only play one character, right? So I just have to learn to play against the characters. Okay, he's gone. Right, now all we have to do is just stay alive. Spoke too soon. Oh wait, good clutch. Good clutch. Okay, okay, we don't have to be cocky, bro. Leave. There we go. That's game. We couldn't have played that better because we almost lost it. It's so easy to miss with this character. They don't even want to show their face right now because they know. She's so annoying, bro. You're trying to flank here. You see him? We have to get him here. We have to get him here. Oh no. I can't do this. I can't clutch. Yeah, and he grabbed me too. I can't clutch that. Yeah. The problem is, as soon as you're not scared, it's easy to go against my character. Because it's so hard to consistently hit something. I gotta tee up for real. This is my fault. What Spike needs to do is get an off angle here. What? Go work, go work. Yeah, unfortunately, that's how a lot of the matches go. So we're playing Heist again on the same map. You know what's crazy? There's this character named Chuck, right? And he... <laughs> He has to be the most broken thing I've seen in any game, right? Because what he can do is drop down these points. And he, since he's a train, as soon as he has his points set up, his character just rams through anything in his way. And he can he can escape almost anything he wants. You see the value in that wall right there? That's my fault. I try to put the wall up and it just it just screwed both of us over. And that's what happens when we have a front line, man. If we have any front line, it makes it just that much easier. Okay, we don't let we don't let this Jesse walk up, bro. Oh damn. Rico is actually a toxic ass character, bro. Look how much damage I'm doing. Look how much damage I'm doing. I've been stuck in Diamond 2 for like three days. How my heart stuck in Brawl Stars? I mean, that's all I'm gonna play for this video. I mean, I'm not a Brawl Stars expert, obviously. I've been enjoying it. If you guys like the video, at least show me in the comments or show me in the likes or something, you know? Give me some tips, tricks, anything you want. But I, I guess we'll call it there, man. All right, I'm out of here.